So I want to talk about what it means to have exponential growth versus linear growth. So linear growth would be on this uh, bottom red line, and exponential growth is, a, is the, uh, the traditional hockey puck. So when we're thinking linear, we're thinking in 5, 6, 10% growth increments. And we're thinking exponentially, we're thinking how can we make a 10x change? A 10x change typically is associated with revenue, but it could be a 10x change in an efficiency, in a process, and even individually within ourselves. So we're breaking the paradigm of this has to be uh, a, the pattern of in incremental linear which is a typical uh, 30 steps, but if we actually took 30 exponential steps, we would t traverse the world, the planet 26 times. So let's talk about this as a, as a, as a business impact and talk about disruption uh, caused by exponentials. So many of you are aware of Blockbuster. They used to be at every, every uh, corner of our, of our neighborhoods. And we saw, all of you remember, I remember when Netflix was sending those CDs out and then they pivoted and we had more ubiquitous access to connectivity. They started streaming and all of a sudden Blockbuster didn't respond and they nosedived and cratered and, and Netflix took off. So that's an example of, uh, of an uh, exponential technology that, that essentially one company rode the wave out and one company ignored. And the CEO of Blockbuster said neither Redbox, um, everybody has a Redbox at their 7-Eleven probably. So the white space for Redbox, there's Netflix had a white space and they w they're not even on the radar of our competition and that was in uh, two th 2008, right about the inflection point that Netflix took over. So we're going to talk about cognitive biases, those where we're poo-pooing the obvious to protect our self-interest of some sort. It's a natural human tendency. It doesn't, uh, it's, it's just something we're born with. And I often say to you all here, uh, when texting first came out, no, I, I remember saying, I'm just, who's gonna text? No, I'm not gonna text. I, or, or I'm not gonna ever buy anything on my phone. You know, how many of you said, buy it? Well, I can barely buy something safely on a regular browser, much less a phone. So we poo-poo these, these trends, even using Facebook. Oh, I'm not gonna use Facebook. That Facebook, there's just not a chance. And of course, now with the ageification, we're all using Facebook and now the younger kids don't. So that's the, the cognitive bias that we're going to pay attention to in, in this 30 minutes where I'm going through this. So how fast, I don't, I don't think people are aware how fast things are changing. And I'm not saying this because I want you all to get in hyped about the change. I want you to just be deeply aware of what's happening so you can figure out with your unique toolkit that all of us come to the table with how we're going to help our businesses and ourselves personally. Sears in 2006 was worth 14.3 billion and you can see all these valuations here 10 years ago and Amazon was at 17 and a half and Walmart was at 214. 10, <coughs> 10 years later, 10 years later Sears down 94 percent, they're less worth less than a billion uh, down 38, down 70, 70, 40. Walmart's made a nice uh, uptick, and of course Amazon uh, is, is dominating the planet right now. So, and that's just in a 10 year time frame. I wanna talk a little bit about how quickly companies are growing to a billion. How many of you heard of the, the word, the unicorn club? Okay, so several have. So how quickly can you build a billion dollar business? It used to take a generation. Now, just since 2014, here are the unicorns that are, have come online. So a lot of the investment firms really hope to get at least one unicorn or a couple in their investment portfolio because it really can make a difference from all the losses that come from a lot of the companies that fail. But even if you go back into 2011, you think this will go back 20 years, it's just to 2011. We have Palantir and Square and Airbnb and Dropbox and such coming online when they hit their billion dollar valuation. So it's just to be aware of what's happening around us 